algae reproduce extremely rapidly, forming a somewhat viscous mass. They feed on light and carbon dioxide. Bred in reactors, they produce valuable oils and vitamins. The southern German company Subitech makes and sells the reactors. Subitech is a spin-off from the German research organisation, the Fraunhofer Institute. It sells the plastic reactors to industry and research institutes. Peter Ripplinger is Subitech's business manager. The reactor is a photobioreactor. The decisive factor is to provide the algae with light. We do that by feeding air through the floor of the reactor. The air rises and churns the fluid and that ensures maximum exposure to light. You need a microscope to see the one-celled organisms. Algae's advantage over other crops is that they grow faster and produce more valuable materials. Subitech's client firms can use algae grown in the bioreactors to produce food supplement tablets like these. They provide people or livestock with nutrients when they don't get adequate amounts in their food. Protein to build muscles, omega-3 fatty acids for healthy blood, or red pigment for the immune system. This astaxanthine is sold as a nutritional supplement in pills. As an antioxidant, it prevents damage to body cells. It's also anti-carcinogenic. That means it helps prevent cancer. This substance is currently the most lucrative product from microalgae. Peter Ripplinger has sold several bioreactors throughout Europe. One is now at the Fraunhofer Institute in Leuna, the chemical industry site in the state of Saxony-Anhalt. The scientists here have many more plans for bioreactors. Along with food supplements, they want to develop biofuels for cars. Our biorefinery project aims not only to process the biomass we generate into biofuel, but also to extract valuable materials from the biomass beforehand. Algae fuel at the pump? That's what Subitech is working on. It also envisions algae waste products as raw material for biogas generators. The researchers think bioreactors could be the high-tech power plants of the future. But we are years away from that. For now, algae delivers nutrients, but growing it sequesters carbon dioxide. So one day it could be an ecological fuel for cars or provide green electricity.